today on a down note, but I woke up this morning. I was just brushing the dust off my tanks and all the polished aluminum on the truck now. And I noticed I had those scratches on the passenger side tank. It looks like somebody took some kind of tool or maybe their, their snipe bar for securing their loads and leaned it up against my tank during the night and was clumsy about it. it looks like something was leaned up against it and it scratched it. I don't know if that's what happened. I didn't do anything to scratch it and I've never seen those scratches there before. It had to have happened last night. I don't know what happened. So uh, it didn't make me very happy this morning when I saw that. I mean, who does that, right? If that's what happened, I'd like to think that people are better than that, but you know, common sense isn't so common. Somehow the tank got a little bit scratched. It's very, it's very minor. I mean, it could be sanded out. But I mean, I just paid to have it polished. Just paid, it's my first trip since I got it polished. And somehow it's already gotten a little scratched up. So, that's how my morning started. We'll make the rest of the day a good day. You know, if you're not standing close to the truck, you can't really see it anyways. It's not the biggest of deal. It's just kind of a bummer in the morning. Well, it is what it is. Do any of you have some pointers of how I can uh, buff that out without sanding it? And they're not very deep, thankfully. I'm sure I can fix it with my Bullsnot products that I got at home. I'll give it a shot. I have faith. Bullsnot will fix it. I just might need to get a new tool, like a new buffer or a new I don't want to sand it. I just want to... I'll take a look at it when I get back to the shop. Won't dwell on it right now. Let's focus on having a good day. So I just filled up one tank here in Dryden at the Petro Pass. This is where we slept. This is where my tank got scratched as far as I know. I didn't see it happen, so I don't know. I did clean them off yesterday and I didn't notice it there yesterday. I notice every detail in my truck, right? But yeah, like I said, let's not dwell on that. We'll fix it. It's fine. Not the end of the world. So yeah, we're starting from here. We're going to go to Kenora, pick up some wood, tarp it, bring it down to Minnesota. Got to deliver it there first thing tomorrow morning and then I've got to be down in Minneapolis. Uh, by the afternoon, by like uh, the end of morning, around noon, I think. Maybe earlier. So it'll be a bit of a rush day tomorrow. But today will be a little bit of a comfortable, comfortable driving day. No big rush. A little rush, but no big rush. Bozo Avenue. I thought this was Colonization Street. Did they change the name?
done. And I'm on my way towards Fort Francis, Ontario, and then we'll cross over into International Falls, Minnesota, as soon as my paperwork clears and Customs is ready. I'm thinking it should be ready by the time I get there, but sometimes they drag their feet a little bit. Should be all good though. If not, I can always sit and wait a little bit there and have a bite to eat or something. I got quite a bit of time to get all the way down to Brainerd tonight. I have plenty of time on my e-log. I just want to get there as soon as we can so that I can unload first thing in the morning. What's this guy doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Signals, buddy. Signals. I had no idea which way you were going. gonna be a busy day I have to get unloaded as early as possible tomorrow I'm gonna go wait right at their gate hopefully I can be the first one there get the stuff off my trailer get my tarps rolled up and head on down to Minneapolis so that I can get there for my appointment and if everything works out and all the stars align I can get all the way back to Winnipeg tomorrow night yet so that I can deliver the next day and get on with the next load Make the money. All right. There we go. 
time for your cards. Okay, let's get some juice. Price is uh, $4 a gallon US here. It's not the cheapest, but it's still cheaper than back home. Uh, I picked up a few bugs along the way, I see. Yikes. Side of the truck is still shiny though. Nice. Ah, those scratches there, they're always gonna bug me. Wonder if I did that or like, can you see them? I mean, the camera's not even really picking them up, right? So they're not that bad. Learned this little trick from my buddy Moses. That way you don't get all the splash up on your tanks and get your tanks all dirty. This is my load. This side ends a little sooner. So I had this big gap here, right? And I didn't want that to flap around. So I just put a, a strap loosely over this here just to keep the tarps from flapping. I don't want them to rip holes or anything. And it worked, worked great. Filled up 125 US gallons. gonna go and park the truck and hopefully I'll be first in line today's a holiday like I've been saying when I'm, when I'm filming this Memorial Day here in the US happy Memorial Day belated to you uh, I'm thinking that there's probably gonna be some trucks lined up already because they weren't working today uh, I'm hoping not but I wouldn't be surprised if there's already a lineup At least now I'm filled up. I don't got to worry about taking care of that in the morning. It's going to be rushed. Every day is kind of a rush, but tomorrow is going to be one of those days that's specifically a rush. 100 meters, turn right on Washington Street, and then 210 and then turn right 130 meters. one guy in front of me one guy and I could have beat him too he came from the same place uh, different outfit that's got the load but uh, so I don't know him but we loaded at the same time he left before me but then he stopped to eat or something and I, I saw him on the side of the road and he was getting food and I blew past him I'm like yeah I'm in front and then I stopped to get fuel I guess he passed me again while I was getting fuel and Fair is fair, he did get loaded first and got out of the shipper first, so now he's here to be unloaded first. I was hoping I could sneak in front of him. Fair is, like I said, fair is fair. If I beat you here, I get unloaded first, right? We both take the same route down, and uh, yeah, so it was one guy in front of me. Uh, this is a place where we can take our tarps off and unload indoors. So uh, we'll both be able to pull in there and pull our tarps off, and we'll get unloaded pretty much at the same time. So being second in line is pretty much the same as being first. Uh, I'm okay with that. So let's just tell the e-log gods that I have stopped. I'm gonna walk around the truck and do my post trip just to make sure everything is as it should be. I already did my post trip at the pumps actually there I went around. Well, I'll do one more round just in case. In case something happened from the pumps to here. I know it was just around the corner. It was like half a mile, but you never know. Do my post trip here and uh, put myself off duty or in sleeper berth. And I believe they get here to open the gate at 7 a.m. I'm going to be up at 6. So I hope he's awake at 6 o'clock. But uh, I mean, when those gates open, I don't care. I'm going in. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. We started off in Dryden, Ontario. Uh, fueled up one tank there at the Petro Pass where we slept. Drove to Kenora, loaded this freight. Drove down here to Minnesota, Brain, uh, uh, Brainerd, Minnesota. Crossed from Fort Francis, Ontario, Canada into International Falls, USA. Came down Highway 6 and now we're here. We'll unload here first thing in the morning. And like I said, lickety split, we're getting out of here. Fast as we can. 
I want to be in Winnipeg tomorrow night in Canada, back in Canada in Winnipeg. That way I can unload first thing the next morning. But then again, I think they only start unloading at like 10 a.m. So I might get to sleep in a little bit the next day, but whatever, I'll get that, those, that, that stuff off my trailer as fast as I can. And then I'll be ready for the next load. We're gonna make some money this week. We are gonna go, go, go. We are gonna buckle down. I've had a lot of time off. Uh, I took I took the time off for the birth of Theo. And I'm very glad I, I was able to do that. Very glad. I had five weeks off. Uh, and I'm an owner operator, so that's not compensated by the government or by anything. That's all mine. That's all my load. Uh, we saved up beforehand to be able to afford that, and we sold our land outside of town to be able to afford that. So that was, I'm very thankful that that worked out like that. Uh, and then this last week, I had a week off as well last week because uh, Old Blue got safety, got a bunch of work done to it. I had to move my shop to a, my new shop. Oh no, mosquitoes are coming in. No, no. Rolling up the windows, rolling up the windows. One second, there's mosquitoes here. Minnesota, you keep your mosquitoes to yourself. We got enough in Manitoba, I don't need any of yours. What was I saying though? Uh, I totally lost my train of thought now. I guess it wasn't important. Ah yes, 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 I remember. Last week, uh, we had some time off, had to move shops. Old Blue got polished also and got safety. And so all of that took majority of the week. Uh, it took about five days. So this week, we're just going to give her hard and uh, got a barbecue coming up this next weekend. Looking forward to that. But until then, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's keep Old Blue running. She's running really good, knock on wood. And let's hope that she keeps doing that. We are about to hit 3 million kilometers on this track. You want to see how far we are? Look at, my, look at my odometer here. This odometer has gone over twice already. It's about to go over the third time. That's 2,991,919 kilometers. Now, one second. That's embarrassing how dusty that is. What happened there? Clean this up a little bit here. There we go. Should have done that first, right? Still something there. Whatever. Getting close to 3 million kilometers. Once we hit 3 million kilometers, that's 2 million miles. On the frame of the truck, not the engine. And the other driver uh, from the other outfit that's here, oh, mosquitoes, just uh, walked past my truck here, so we chatted for a bit. And they open the gate at 6.30, and they can, they open the door for us to get inside earliest is seven. Sometimes they got some other things they need to get done first, and then we get pulled in. Hopefully we get pulled in right away because I'm in a bit of a rush. Uh, he's got to head back up to Kenora tomorrow. I got to head down to Minneapolis. So we both want to get out of here as soon as we can. So I'm going to be up at like 6 a.m. sharp. So thanks for joining me today, everybody. I appreciate it. I really like that you come here to hang out with me every day. There will be a new vlog up tomorrow. Don't forget to tune in. Do me a favor and hit that like button if you did like the video. If you didn't like the video, tell me how I can do better in the comment section. Leave me a comment and uh, hit the notification, turn on all notifications so you know when my next one goes live. I'll see you later. Have a good one.